Hello, my name is Bob Eason and I teach the saxophone at Austin P State University in Clarksville, Tennessee. If you're working towards the Tennessee All Mid-State auditions, then this video series will provide you with playing examples and helpful tips to guide your practice and preparations. In this video, we'll be specifically focusing on the baritone saxophone excerpt for grades 7 and 8. <laughs> As you prepare this excerpt, keep in mind that the last two words in the tempo marking are con brio, which means that the music should have a lively and brilliant character. This directly translates into your playing as lifted note lengths and firm articulation. Because of the key signature, there are B-flats everywhere. As saxophonists, one of our most important and basic skills is our flexibility and control over different B-flat fingerings. For our intents and purposes, there are two fingerings you should be practicing in your scales, side B-flat and bis B-flat. While occasionally it might make sense to use one and five or one and four, these should never be your default choice for B-flat. All saxophonists have slightly different preferences for when to use side versus bis, but the deciding factor should be a balance of what sounds the cleanest and what's the most comfortable, assuming you have fluidity with both fingerings. A simple guide is to use side B-flat for notes that move by step and bis B-flat for notes that move by leap. This isn't perfect, and I prefer bis when I move by step much of the time. However, it is a good place to start. Here's a look at the first line with suggested B-flat fingerings written in. There are several dynamic markings in this excerpt, and I think you'll find that you might need to exaggerate the differences between piano, mezzo forte, and forte. It might seem natural to allow your embouchure to crunch down as you play softly, but do your best to allow the reed to vibrate freely. We don't want to allow our sound to become buzzy or distorted as we play softly, and maintaining the shape of your embouchure will help a lot. One last tip is to use the chromatic F sharp key in the second measure of line 3. As you move from F to F sharp and then to G, the chromatic F sharp key will help ensure your technique is that much smoother. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below as comments, or you can send an email to me at APSU. Have a great day and happy practicing. Thank you.